right, everybody. It is Tuesday, September 12th. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. Coming up on today's show, pickleball is the fastest growing sport, but we don't want you to get yourself in a pickle with an injury, so we are talking to a doctor about some safety tips. And it's Tasty Tuesday. Hotel Zaza is live in studio serving up the deets about its first annual barbecue cook-off fundraiser. That and more is headed your way, so what do you say? Let's get this show started. And as always, we begin with today's top talker. Did you guys hear about this? No more self-serve fountain drinks at the Golden Arches. Say what? Yeah, McDonald's is phasing out self-serve fountain drink stations, according to our sister station in KTLA. They tell them that, quote, we will be transitioning away from self-serve be beverage stations in dining rooms across the U.S. by 2032. This change is intended to create a consistent experience for both customers and crews across all ordering points, whether that's McDelivery, the app, kiosk, drive through or in restaurant. Now, some McDonald's have already started to remove them, and customers have had to go to the counter to ask for a refill. Honestly, I'm not loving this. Not that I really go inside that much, but let's be real, it was part of the experience. And you could mix your iced tea and lemonade, or in my case, put just as much or little ice as you want. Also, where's the high C orange, folks? Just asking. In my opinion, it seems a little bit cheap. Also, fix your ice cream machine and then get back to me, honey. In the meantime, you can read more about this over on our website, CW39.com, and join in on the conversation. Well, pickleball is without a doubt the fastest growing sport in America, but we don't want you to get injured while playing. It's a true story. So joining us now, we have Dr. Beth McQuiston and Tom Webb to share the latest on the pickleball craze and concussion prevention. Thank you both so much for waking up with us. Thank you. Thank you. So this is really popular, and $400 million, though, in healthcare costs are due to pickleball-related injuries. That seems really startling. Can you share why Abbott and the Association of Pickleball Players are here to discuss this issue? Well, Tom and I are thrilled to be here today. And we're here in honor of National Concussion Awareness Day, which is September 15th. At Abbott, we helped found a coalition that focuses on concussion awareness now. And what we want for everyone is to have maximal fun and minimal injury. The other thing that we do is we monitor trends and obviously one of the biggest trends sweeping the world would be pickleball. And that's where I come in. So I represent the Association of Pickleball Players, better known as the APP. Uh, and we're one of the leading organizations worldwide helping drive the growth of pickleball. I think the, uh, the, the number that you mentioned at the top of this um, is an important number to put in context of the uh, amount of people who are playing pickleball. So nearly 50 million adult Americans have played pickleball at least once in the last 12 months. So it's inevitable there's going to be a little bit of risk and some injury uh, with that kind of volume of people who are playing playing. The APP puts a very, very strong onus on the importance of having safety and security when you play. And that's why we're so pleased to be here today to be able to talk about this important subject for pickleball players and for anybody who's taking part in any sort of sport or activity. It is so important. So why do you think so many people are attracted to pickleball? So I think there are three main reasons why the sport is growing so rapidly. Uh, the most important is about fun. Uh, the majority of people who play the sport say that the reason they do so is to have fun. Uh, and that's one of the, uh, the, the key drivers of this growth, not just in America, but worldwide. I think the second piece is about adaptability. Uh, it's very easy to pick up a paddle and start playing pickleball and to be quite good quite quickly. And I think that's important because that gives players a sense of achievement that's perhaps a little bit more difficult with some of the other sports that they've tried. And I think the third piece is about sociability and community. Um, it's a very, very sociable sport. Everybody who plays, as I said earlier, has fun, and they're doing that with friends, family, or making new friends on the pickleball court. So I think those are the three things, but I would put fun as the number one. It is fun, and here's the thing, it is still a sport though. So doctor, what signs and symptoms should we be on the lookout for? 
Well, the best injury, of course, is no injuries. What people can do are some very simple things to maximize their chance of fun and minimize their chance for, of injury. So the night before you're going to be playing pickleball, make sure you get a good night's sleep. That's the first thing to do. And then make sure you warm up, make sure you stretch, you stay hydrated, and most importantly, don't be a hero. Don't <laughs> lunge for the point. <laughs> you know, it's, it's all about having fun and not getting injured. I love this. Both of you, where can we go for more information? You can go to Abbott's website for Concussion Awareness Now, which is concussionawarenessnow.org, or checkyourmelon.com, where we have the most common signs and symptoms of concussion. You can also follow the story on social with hashtag Melon Pledge. And if you want to find out more about pickleball or about how to come and compete in one of the APP tour events, go to the app.global. All right. Well, thank you both so much for your time. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you very much for having us. It was a pleasure. I still haven't played. I definitely want to go play pickleball for sure now. In the meantime, stay tuned. We are playing around more on Houston Happens. Things are heating up in the courtroom. Three judges are better than one. Triple the judges, triple the action. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. The win, the rumble, the freedom. It's just you and the open road. But if you've been injured in a motorcycle crash, this is no time to go it alone. Serious injuries warrant serious action. Call the law firm that Texas bikers have trusted since 1985. Call board-certified lawyer and former judge Terry Bryant. 713-973-8888. 713-973-8888. What makes Kelsey Care Advantage the fastest-growing Medicare Advantage plan in Houston? In a word, everything. With great new benefits and comprehensive coverage, plus exceptional care delivered by Houston's own Kelsey Siebold Clinics. Kelsey Care Advantage is everything you're looking for. Want extra money for dental, vision, and hearing expenses? Our new $500 Flex Card covers everything from dentures to glasses. How about a ride to your next doctor's appointment? Transportation to and from medical visits is unlimited. Plus, Kelsey Care Advantage is the only Medicare Advantage plan in Texas to receive Medicare's five-star rating for seven straight years. Now that's consistent quality you can count on. And that means everything. Call now to join the plan that delivers everything you want in coverage and care. Kelsey Care Advantage, 713-442-7822. The reviews are in, and everyone loves Season Pass from TXU Energy. 50% off your energy charges all winter and summer. What's not to love? I saved $450 last year. Half off for half the year is a real crowd pleaser. Even when the weather's changing, I'm still saving. Season Pass is relief when you need it most. You can say that again. Season Pass is relief when you need it most. I didn't mean literally. TXU Energy. Energy for everything. Before you pick someone to handle your Social Security disability case, ask, is there a main office in Texas? Will your case be handled by a lawyer? Will the lawyer talk to you before the date of the hearing? Can they take your case to federal court? I'm Victor McCreese, a Texas board certified attorney. If you need Social Security disability benefits, I'd like to help. You have the Espanol. Victor McCreese, 713-665-1000, easyapply.com. Well, it is Tasty Tuesday, and barbecue lovers, you are going to love this. I am so excited because Hotel Zaza Memorial City will host its first annual fundraiser this Thursday. And here to serve up all of the deets, please welcome Chef Brandon Wilhelm and Ashley Bartek. Thank you both so much for waking up with us. Thanks Thank for having for us. us. And I love this hat. I want to keep it. This is amazing. So tell us a little bit about this event. Yeah, absolutely. So we are going up against the 2023 Grand Championships, uh, which are called the Jasper County Go Texans. Okay. And it will be on Thursday, September 14th on the lawn at Memorial City. Uh, we love a good competition and we also love giving back to the community so 100% of the proceeds will go towards scholarships That's in amazing. Jasper County. Oh, I love this and 
I love what you're serving up. Thank what you. are these sliders? So these are salmon belly, blackened salmon belly sliders on a potato roll with oh a little gosh. bit of chopped romaine and some bull's blood. Oh, I love potato rolls too. You can't Excellent. find those everywhere. No, they are hard to find. They really are. So mm -hmm. what's the key to winning this competition, would you say? So uh, make everything delicious. Oh. That's pretty much it. <laughs> hey, a little chef's kiss, <laughs> yeah. right? Well, chef's go. kiss and also fashion kiss because tell me Absolutely. about this. Absolutely, yeah. So we're delighted that we have two designers joining us for the event as well. Uh, what you're wearing here, Top Hats, which is a traveling custom hat bar. So they're going to be out and they're going to be set up for you to select your own hat from Western Wears to Boho Chic, Fashion Forward. You pick it out, you can do custom branding um, like scarves, silks, feathers, however you want it to, to be your style. And Upland Bespoke, which is going to be our fashion for the field. So for your uh, women outdoors, we've got some blouses that have some UV protection and then like a tailored fitted vest. You're going to have the option to get your custom monogram, colors, uh, patterns, fabric, um, so anything for, for, you know, fashion forward. Yeah, exactly. And it's that time of year, too. Exactly. So hopefully it cools upon down. us. Yes. Yeah. And you have me at Monogram. <laughs> Everyone knows. Everyone loves I'm monogram a sucker or for Monogram. Exactly. That is all my daughter's things ever. She right. will never forget her name, folks. <laughs> right. Here's the thing. We don't want to forget any of the details. So where can we go to get tickets and Yeah, absolutely. So we still have some limited tickets available. They're going to be up on Eventbrite. Um, and definitely want to get your tickets and you'll have a chance to win a uh, a four pack of tickets to this year, uh, this coming year's cook off as well. Oh, mm -hmm. that is exciting! Yeah. Who are you most excited to be up against? Would you say the champion? <laughs> of course, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you got to see what you got unless you go up with the champion. I know. I'm For excited sure. too because there's some good tastiness. Now, tell everybody exactly where you guys are located because some people yeah. are like, "Oh, wait, sure. not the one in the exactly." The yes, so Memorial City 9787 Katy Freeway, uh, right at Bunker Hill and I-10. We're going to be on the lawn right in front of our property there uh, with four vendors together, Austin cocktails. Um, so you don't want to miss it. All right, it's happening this Thursday. We of course are going to have all of the details over on our website, CW39.com. One of my favorite hotels, so you definitely have to check it out. Like I said, I had my bridal brunch there. Absolutely love it, and the pool. So look for it and the iconic awning. That's Absolutely. how I always know where I am. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much. My and thank you. I have to give the hat back, unfortunately. <laughs> but here's the thing. Speaking of events, you all, there's a lot going on, and there's actually a Houston Creole Festival that you don't want to miss. Check it out. Bill Clare Family Mortuary is owned and operated by Minister Bill and his wife, Charlotte, and they have been serving families of Houston, Texas, and surrounding areas continuously for more than 75 years. They also started a Houston Creole Heritage Festival 10 years ago, and they're joining me with more. So lovely to have both of you. Thank you. First of all, thank you for what you've been doing for our community. I mean, 75 years. Tell me a little bit about the funeral home. Well, the funeral home was, um, was actually created in the early 1915 uh, on um, on Nassitation Boulevard down by McKinney. And in 2000, well, in uh, 1946, it moved to sophomore and Live Oak. And it has been there almost 100 years. Oh my God. Serving the Third Ward and Midtown community for those families that uh, needed someone to take care of them and give someone care and concern for their loved ones. It's the hardest time someone's going through, yeah. so to have you there, and I'm sure you've been servicing generations. We yeah. have. That's amazing. It's really yeah, incredible. Mm -hmm. And you guys are also a fixture in the community. Tell me about this exciting Creole Festival 10 years ago. Well, my father, uh, back in the day, uh, left our family, and we were all alone. My mother passed away when I was 11. And as I grew older and older, I wondered what my father did for recreation, for fun, and how did he live his life? So I started to look into his life and come to find out he was a steward with the St. Nurse Catholic Church that took care of bazaars. He took care of, the, took care of that bazaar, yeah. he set it up, he had the good eating food, the Cajun cuisine, crab cake. And so with that in mind, I want, by him now being dead, I wanted to recreate his lifestyle in the Houston community. So we started in 2014 the Houston Creole Heritage Festival. 
And from there to now, we have had a very successful uh, event. We've uh, uh, had all kinds of artists and food and cuisine every year. We do a local park and uh, give that to the community. I love that. You're giving back to the community in more ways than one. And it sounds so fun because I love a good church is. bazaar. So <laughs> the, you had me at that one. Uh -huh. You actually are asking people if they want to participate, mm -hmm. right? So exactly. where can we go for more? Well, if they want to be a vendor, they can go to HoustonCreolFest.com. Uh, and there's a phone number if they have any issues with that. That uh, not a phone number. I apologize. That's the email address: nine two one studio dot com. Then we have a technician on calls twenty four hours a day that can help walk them through becoming a vendor. All right, and then if we need to have your services for the mortuary, we can get in touch with you as well. Absolutely. And we showed the email that you saw there. Well, I appreciate both of you for taking the time to speak with me, but more importantly, for what impact you're making on the community. You're making your dad proud, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, we got one other thing that we do, and that's guns uh, versus uh, uh, violence. And that's why we're yeah. starting a program so that we can stop the young people from shooting and killing each other. So we're having uh, four nats that we're getting ready to put in place so that we could have programs to help educate them about guns. Thank you for that too, because mm -hmm. you've probably seen firsthand we're burying oh, too many young as people. As a funeral home. Yeah, and no mother or father should have to bury Oh, that's child. the saddest time I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, well thank you again for what you're doing for the community. It was a pleasure having you both on the show. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And with so many exciting community events to attend, you want to learn how to save some money to buy those tickets, right? Well, our friend Nicole Michelle with Innovative Marketing, she actually has more. We have friend of the show, Nicole Michelle. She is back, this time to explore the power of consistency and systematic saving. As always, I love seeing you. Good to be seen, Maggie. Thank you again for having us. Thank you, because when I talk to you, you know, money talk can be a little bit overwhelming, mm -hmm. but you always make it not so overwhelming. Yes, yes. And so tell us a little bit about this. Sure, so just a couple simple things that people can do. Maggie, one thing is saving $5 a week. A week. A week. That's Five dollars a week. That's it. Five dollars a week in an account that you do not have access to. Okay. So no ATM card, no running up, no withdrawing money. In less than 10 years, you can have almost $3,000. Oh my gosh. Very, very simple. Okay. Very simple, systematic saving. The second thing is getting a five gallon jar and just collecting change. That's how we save our spending money for our vacations. And the week before we go on vacation, we have a coin rolling party. Everybody has anywhere from $800 to $1,500. You know my husband does that? Yes. He rolls his coins, yes. and I love so it because it's so old school, yes. but I absolutely yes. love it. And my Nana so would do that. So simple. Yeah. Just so simple. Just drop and change in because that takes the pain and the burden out of trying to save. Did you not know less than 40% of Americans have a $1,000 saved up? Jeez. Less than 40%. It's hard though. Yes. I mean, especially raising families, you're mm -hmm. living paycheck to paycheck. If people have credit card debt, inflation, mm -hmm. I mean, so how or do we do that? Sometimes it can be poor check to poor check. Yeah, that's true. That's very. Because it's not enough when you start. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. So yes. $5 though, that doesn't sound so overwhelming. It's not at all. Okay. Not at all. What other tips do you have for people out there? Uh, the other tip is for people to pay more attention mm. to where they're spending money. Mm -hmm. And every 30 days have a family meeting where you actually review your bank statement. Uh. People would be surprised the money they spend. I did this with a 29 year old the other week and we realized she spent over $600 shopping on Amazon. I don't want to know In what my month. I mean, I pretty much know the driver's first name. You know what yes. I mean? Because yes. and yes. it's a quick fix. Yes. And subscriptions. Yes, yes. online shopping, uh, a lot of dues for things that we don't use. Those things, it's called leakage. Mm -hmm. in your cash flow. When you have leakage is where you're spending money and you're not sure where it's going. Right. And you look up in one or two weeks and it's gone. Mm. It's gone. And ignorance is bliss sometimes. You don't want to break and it all down. And it's expensive. Yes, it's very, very expensive. expensive. And people are getting nervous too. I was just at the store and they were back to school shopping and a mom yes. was stressed because it's so expensive. School supplies. Yes. So a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. And people should plan for their 
spending, okay. right? When you plan for your spending, if you know you're going school shopping, for example, if you plan to spend $100, do not spend more than $100. Mm -hmm. Take $100 cash in there, tally up what you have. If you have more than that, then it's okay to put some things back. But when we start going over what we plan to spend, that's a bad habit. Yeah, very bad. Mm -hmm. Well, I love it because you always make me feel better. And five dollars, we all can do that. Five dollars. Tell everybody where we can go for more and to meet with you too. Sure. Visit NicoleMichelle.com. We have a free scapes on the website where you can enter to have a free one hour consultation with me. Well, I love it. As always, it's a pleasure seeing you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Remember, a little bit goes a long way. Yes, it does. Tomorrow on News Nation, former Vice President Mike Pence makes his case to all America, taking your questions live in a News Nation town hall. The News Nation town hall. Mike Pence live tomorrow at 9, 8 central on News Nation. Having health insurance is important. So if anyone in your family has Texas Medicaid or CHIP, listen up. Check the mail for your renewal form. Complete the form. And mail it back right away so you don't lose your coverage. If you do lose Texas Medicaid or CHIP, visit healthcare.gov to see if you're eligible to enroll in a low cost quality health plan. Healthcare.gov. From the front porch to the backyard, there's so much to love about Texas. At Rooms to Go Patio, there's a lot to love too. Stylish outdoor furniture that can help you make the most of your Texas space. Whether it's wide open with possibility or something a little more intimate, Rooms to Go Patio has an incredible selection of outdoor pieces and packages designed to fit your space and your budget. I'm Julianne Huff and this is what's possible at Rooms to Go Patio. Because of our reputation, many people think that Simmons & Fletcher only handles the most serious accidents. But at Simmons & Fletcher, we know that all accidents are serious when they happen to you. We're here to fight for you. No matter the size of your accident or injury, call Simmons & Fletcher today and find out if you have a case for free. So whether it's a large case or a small case, we're your lawyers. Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. At Houston Christian University, I found friendship. I found excellence. I found a community brought together by worship. I found more than answers. I found wisdom. I found truth and my true calling. In all we do here, we find God. And a path to our future in all we do. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. And here is a look at today's sponsored content. And that's nearly a wrap on today's show. Remember, you can always tune in same place, same time tomorrow morning for more Houston Happens. But first, we want to leave you with this word from Power Wizard. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. So I'd like to say I'm an expert shopper, but when it comes to electricity, it can be downright confusing and they kind of want it to be. But never fear, Power Wizard is here to be our own personal shopper, if you will, and good friend of the show, Christine, is back. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Thank you for having me. So, I mean, I can shop with the best of them, but it is really confusing. How do I know if this plan is right for me and where do I even start to look? It's overwhelming. Yeah, I mean, even for me, sometimes I came from working for an electricity company. I see these plans and I'm like, wait, I don't even understand how they get to this. Right. It's crazy. It really is, and they want us, you know, it's like, gaslighting we say yeah. so they want to get us all riled up and then just sign with maybe the most expensive plan yeah because at one usage you may have a super low rate and then if you don't use enough you may actually be charged for not using enough or charged for using too little Jeez, and then 
those fine lines that yeah. you don't always read the fine print. Yeah, absolutely. You just think that you're getting some really low rate and in the fine print, that's where you start to see those service fees. Yes, so this is where you guys come in. You say, hey, friends and family are calling you all the time. Absolutely. My, I mean, my mom at this point, I used to call her and ask which right. plan to choose. Now she's calling me and asking which plan to choose. And I constantly have friends asking me and I'm like, here you go, here's Power Wizard. Yeah, so <laughs> tell us how it works exactly. So we basically scour the internet for um, different plans. We only choose super simple fixed rate plans. That's the way to go in this industry. So you're not caught off guard with these surprise rates. Um, unless you're like really playing the game and know how to do it, um, the simple rates is the best way to go. And oftentimes we just auto renew without even thinking about it. Just yep. let it charge our credit card. Yep. And you're like, no, we'll be looking at that for you too. Absolutely. We're also also uh, constantly watching the market and seeing if rates drop. If there is a uh, rate that's low enough, then we'll actually reach out to you and see if it's worth the switch. So what do we need when we contact you? What info do you need? Just your home address. It's super simple. That's it? That's just it. our home address. How do we become a Power Wizard member? You can and go to powerwizard.com and take a look at um, the rates online, see our best rate that we found in the market at the moment, or give our customer care a call. And this is what I love is you guys are fully transparent because there's those brokers and they're actually getting a cut. Yes. You guys are not getting a cut. Absolutely. Coming from the um, electricity side, uh, the rates are usually slightly inflated whenever it comes to those shopping sites. Um, we are only paid for by our customers, so we have their best interest in mind. And how much does it cost a month? $10 a month. $10 a month. And think, I mean, how much money could we potentially be saving? Oh, hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah. Yeah. I like the sound of that. So what are you waiting for? Leave the shopping up to Power Wizard. Thanks so much. Thank you.